So today we're going to be continuing our look at complex differentiation and we're going to look at harmonic conjugates. Okay, so we have our function f, which is uh, of z, where z is a complex, equals u of x, y, add iv of x, y, where x and y are both reals. If the two cauchy riemann equations are satisfied, these two, then fz is complex differentiable and u and v are harmonic conjugate functions. Now, often you are asked a question such as this one here, which I'll just pause the video if anybody wants to do, okay, where you are asked to find the harmonic conjugate. Now, when you were, uh, what we're going to do with this method is those who are uh, familiar with the Gresty Academy YouTube channel will, will notice that the method we use is almost exactly the same as that used for solving exact first order differential equations and finding potential functions of a conservative vector field. And both of those links are in the description to this video. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we need to find the harmonic conjugate, which basically means what they are saying is they are saying that it is complex differentiable. We have a function z which is complex differentiable and which equals u of x, y add i v of x y so they're telling us that we have this differentiable function and what they are saying is we are given one of them i.e here u of x y and we have to find the other one okay so basically and also what they're saying is because it's harmonic conjugates and because it's differentiable they're saying the cauchy riemann, -Riemann um, equations hold we know that okay so basically we know that du dx equals dv dy and we know that du dy equals minus dv dx and we know that u of xy because we're given it is equal to e to the x cos y add e to the y cos x add 2xy here and we need to find v okay so basically we know this and so what we'll do first of all and this is very similar as I've said to the methods that we used uh, in previous videos we take the partial derivative with respect to x and that equals e to the x cos y minus e to the y sine x add 2y so that's du dx the partial derivative and we know that's the partial derivative of v with respect to y so what we can do here is we can integrate this with respect to y to get v so therefore v is equal to e to the x sine y minus e to the y sine x add y squared add as we're integrating with respect to y there will be some function h of x Okay, now that's used the first of the cauchy riemann equations. Now we're going to use the second one. So let's have a look at what du dy is. Well, du dy, again, where's a u? Oh, here, here's u. So du dy is minus e to the x sine y add e to the y cos x add 2x. And we know from the second cauchy riemann equation that that is equal to minus dv dx and so therefore we know that dv dx is equal to e to the x sine y minus e to the y cos x minus 2x and now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate this with respect to x so we get v equals e to the x sine y minus e to the y sine x minus x squared add some function of y add a constant we could actually put the constant onto uh, onto the other one um, or this one it doesn't make any difference some constant of integration now what we're going to do now is we are going to compare this with this again which is exactly the same uh, as we did uh, in those previous videos and we get we see this one is exactly the same this one is exactly the same and here is i of y we can see is y squared and h of x we can see is minus x squared so therefore we know that v is equal to e to the x sine y minus e to the y sine x add y squared minus x squared add some constant of integration so therefore we know that our function f of z is equal to which we know was a uh, u of u of x 
y add i v of x y so we know more formally now that it equals e to the x cos y add e to the y cos x add 2 x y that's u add i times v which is this thing here just coming down e to the x sine y minus e to the y sine x add y squared minus x squared and some constant of integration so we have here our function now what we can do just to check is why not actually just check very quickly um, let's have a look let's have a look at here which is u and here which is v well du dx we're now differentiating it to make sure that in fact uh, the cauchy riemann equation does hold is equal to e to the x cos y minus e to the y sine x add 2y and dv dy is equal to e to the x cos y minus e to the y sine x add 2y so that agrees and then du dy is equal to minus e to the x sine y add e to the y cos x add 2x and minus dv dx is equal to minus e to the x sine y minus e to the y cos x minus 2x which again is exactly the same so we have proved well that we have shown that the cauchy riemann equations do hold and that we have therefore correctly found the harmonic conjugate of of u uh, okay well i hope you found this useful if you have please um, press the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gresty academy youtube channel